Online lore took the internet by storm with a great concept and some well-timed marketing efforts. The follow-up video by Ludwig spurred the idea by many people that they too could create a YouTube channel and make it big. Although much of the continued growth can be attributed to the reveal that Ludwig was behind all of it, the initial success that the video garnered still holds true, receiving over 11,000 views and around 1,000 subs in the first four days, which can be seen as a major success for a first video. This comes down to three things, the concept, execution, and getting it in front of the right audience. Firstly, the concept put forth in the online lore video was unique, but also adjacent to a thought that many people have had. Mizkif's content relies heavily on other creators. Even the man himself has admitted this. I have an open door policy for one reason. Because I have no content of my own. But this itself would not create an interesting video, because the idea is unoriginal and redundant. So the genius idea to relate how Mizkif utilizes the door to the similarities in sitcoms is what sets it apart from the rest. Especially now, with many people from the community taking inspiration from this, the concept needs to stand out as something that is additive by bringing up thoughts that have not been touched on previously. This goes along with the next step of the process, which is execution of the video. Most importantly, the thumbnail and beginning 30 seconds of the video have to be enticing enough to first click on it and then stay around. Now that I have your attention... You don't have our attention. MONEY! I'm listening. The video not only needs to cover a good topic, but also has to engage the viewer with interesting graphics that go along with it, for people to want more. The high production quality that online lore put forth sets it apart from the copycats that have tried to follow suit. The music pairing is also another important detail. This music might not jump off the page as recognizable, but to an audience of gamers, subconsciously, it can bring comfort to a listener if they've heard it many times before. This can also increase audience retention. Another point that cannot go unnoticed is the use of a British voiceover. The largest streaming platform, Twitch, has over doubled their monthly average viewers. According to an article from Psychology Today, British accents create the idea of having a high IQ. So as a relatively intellectual take on Mizkif, Hearing it from someone stereotypically seen as smarter has its benefits. Science. What is it all about? Technology. What is that all about? Even though this might have not gone through Ludwig's thought process when choosing a voiceover, it definitely helped. Then comes what happens after the video has been published. This is where there has been the most scrutiny for what Ludwig did. Okay. Wait, it's got 50 bucks! I Someone it. called you the biggest streamer in the world? With that being said, it did exactly what he wanted it to do. And that was get eyes on the video from the right audience, therefore recommending the video to others who watch similar content. Since this was so successful, we have seen many others attempt to do the same thing, with a majority getting much less success. You, you personally have made me mad at my chat, because I get these donations all the time. <laughs> and they're such bad videos. And they do the same thing you did. And we just shit on them. In order for the marketing efforts to work, they need to be backed up by a good product. Look, that's the problem is there's no way to show that it's skill-based because then people immediately do the thing that you did and it'll never work twice. But in fact, a similar method has worked for The Veil. All right, boy, today we are going to be reacting to some Twitter. Even though the content is different than online lore, he has created videos that are great for streamers to react to, and has seen a dramatic increase in subscribers once big streamers started to watch. But due to the abundance of content being recommended to streamers, it is definitely harder to get recognized even if the video is good. The point of Ludwig's video was not to give a blueprint to becoming a successful YouTuber, but instead was made to show that it is mostly skill to do well on the platform. And even though it may be more difficult than what Ludwig shows, there is skill to it. Also, if Ludwig could market a video successfully on his first attempt, there is no doubt in my mind that he could figure out an alternative way that would also work. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe.